Welcome to the Rochester Effect, Boston. One of the things that's happening, if you haven't been back to Rochester recently, one of the things that I've been very excited about is, is how the educational mission and the research mission, which is our primary focus this evening, really have become intertwined. One of the things you recognize as you begin to look at these essentially perfect people coming through is that the differentiation point very often is the way they can look to the past understand the present and interpret the future. What they do essentially is to create the kind of productive citizens and the engaged workforce that this country and on a global scale societies across the globe uh, basically need. Science is, is um, highly competitive and fundamentally adversarial. So, so that's, you're, you're not only trying to demonstrate that, what you, that your assertions are correct, that they're true, but, but it's almost always done in the context of trying to show that somebody else is wrong. I don't think it's necessarily following scientists around and trying to prove each other wrong. I think it's more that um, often communities are really galvanized and excited about particular problems and uh, they're after the truth. And so in seeking the truth, uh, they, they test it from different angles and points of view and sometimes fall on the um, you know opposing opinion. Really our effort is to uh, train people to, uh, to, to think, to be able to ask questions and to be able to solve problems that they haven't seen in the classroom before. Yep. Um, and so that's uh, a different kind of skill set uh, development. What does academic freedom really mean? It means, by and large, not that you're, you're free to do anything you want or free to do nothing or free to do outside work. None of these things are acceptable. It, mean, it means that you're, you're free from capricious interference with your work. And that's the key, that's the key protection of, 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 of a decent university. I hope it's uh, been apparent in our discussion tonight just how uh, incredibly important this institution has been to the four of us in shaping our lives. I'd like you to think about the things we've discussed tonight uh, and think about how Rochester has changed your life and change your world and what the Rochester effect is for you that you're going to now bring out to our community.